Hello everyone. Today we have an unusual episode. Uh, we do have tons of misinformation and de disinformation on the internet regarding the coronavirus. The latest stupid thing that I read is somehow 5G technology, new cellular technology, uh, allegedly <laughs> spread the coronavirus. Uh, I even read some reports that there were incidents of, you know, attacks on cell towers that emit 5G signal and some crazy people set them on fire, which doesn't make any sense at all. Um, well, as a physicist and, uh, and a chemist, let me... Uh, tell you something about the radiation and uh, the dangers of radiation and uh, other things. Uh, well, first of all, why I'm wearing this uh, interesting looking hat uh, or cap or whatever. Um, well, the thing is that, I mean, uh, I'm doing it for the sake of our uh, conspiracy theory friends. So it's a foil, uh, it's a foil cap, a uh, foil hat. Uh, why do I need it? Well, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't actually do anything. I mean, for the foil to be effective, you are supposed to wrap yourself entirely in the foil and, and be like this, right? So, why? Well, there is a very good reason why. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, there was a scientist. His name was Faraday. That's his last name. And he came up with this idea of a Far Faraday cage. Well, it's not an idea, it's a proven scientific uh, law. Inside the metallic cage, like your car, for example, uh, the electromagnetic uh, field is equal to zero. So, for example, when the lightning is striking and you are sitting inside your car, this is probably the, sa the safest place where you can be right so uh, but of course you need to be inside the cage so just the head is not going to do anything remember it needs to be a faraday cage i mean uh granted you can put me metallic mesh around your bed and such things are sold on amazon i have nothing to do with that uh you can put mesh inside your uh, walls in your house or in your room and, and create a Faraday cage in your room. Um, why this is important? Well, the thing is that uh, the radiation, including the ra any kind of radiation, is definitely not good for humans. We, we all know that. Um, why it's not good? Well, because we know that radiation actually destroys DNA and uh, you know our cells and in our bodies and, and everything else so uh, the radiation effects like from the nuclear explosion are very well studied and people know about it but less have been done in terms of cellular radiation the ones that we're using with our cell phone devices and tablets and whatnot and or Wi-Fi uh, radiation or, or anything like that. So basically, uh, if you Google, you'll find that uh, the reason why uh, there are conspiracy theories around the uh, cell towers and cell, cell ra radiation is because there are only well-funded studies that were done, that were sponsored by the interested parties, such as, like, obviously, cell phone companies, the telecommunication sector, and there were no alternative well-funded studies. There were some studies, but they were not done professionally, they were not uh, done in a scientific manner, they, they were not st statistically significant. So, the way the United States government stipulates at this time is that if radiation does not physically hit your body, then it's not dangerous. Well, obviously, it's a flawed, uh, you know, judgment because, I mean, 
nobody studied anything else beyond that and uh, I refuse to believe that it's not entirely dangerous I mean we need better studies but uh, let's go back to 5G and the coronavirus well that is an utter nonsense and again I would like to repeat this is the utter nonsense yes radiation is dangerous for humans in a different way it has nothing to do with the spread of the virus or any kind of virus or bacteria whatsoever uh, yes radiation as a whole can make your body immune system to make your immune system susceptible to other diseases yes that that might be such effect but again there is a be uh, I have some uh, good news for you I mean the thing is that again uh, back to science uh, the radiation effect is inversely proportional to the square of the distance so even a small distance between you and the cellular tower or your uh, mobile device makes a significant difference let's say for the sake of the argument that you create a distance of three feet or three meters or whatever you measure in um, what would it look like well take a look here you know so basically it says three feet and if this is inversely proportional to the square of the distance so it will be one divided over three to the power of two so actually three feet difference would decrease uh, the amount of radiation by nine you know pretty much right so the more distance is between you and the cell tower or your uh, mobile device the less exposure you get this is good. this is one good news well and the second good news is obviously a Faraday cage again this thing doesn't do anything at all uh, unless you wrap yourself entirely in, in, in foil which nobody is going to do again so either you would have to sleep in your car you know or you would put mesh around your uh, mesh around your uh, metallic mesh around your uh, bed and uh, or your room or inside your walls or outside your walls I don't know how would you do it then you would create this Faraday cage right so think about it uh, again switch your critical thinking and don't read uh, conspiracy theories but rather go back to science ask somebody who knows what's going on stay healthy stay well and write me comments and I'll be happy to answer them thank you